welcome. In this lecture on nonlinear data analysis, which has multiple sessions, we'll explore what are called normal matrices. The main concepts for this lecture are what is a normal matrix? An example is an orthogonal matrix, a symmetric matrix, and we'll go through the spectral theorem for a normal matrix. We'll discover that from the spectral theorem, we can find the components of an orthonormal basis for the uh, column space of a matrix. One problem that we can think of as we go through this lecture is when does a vector space have an orthonormal basis? A normal matrix, which is a square matrix first, so let's suppose that it has m rows and it has m columns, and a normal matrix is one that commutes with its transpose. So that means that the matrix times its transpose is the same as the transpose times the matrix. Not all matrices have this property, and of course if you have two matrices A and B, in general they don't commute. When we have it, when we have this property that it commutes with its own transpose, we call it a normal matrix. Now, what are some quick examples that we could think of? Well, suppose that C transpose was the inverse of C. Then C times C inverse is the identity, and C inverse times C is the identity. And when a matrix has an inverse that is the transpose of the matrix, we call that an orthogonal matrix. Another example would be when C transpose is the same as C. So in this case, it would be C times C equals C times C. And when a matrix is equal to its transpose, we call that a symmetric matrix. Another possibility is that C transpose is minus C, in which case this product will be minus C times C, and this will be minus C times C, and that means that a skew symmetric matrix commutes with its transpose. We'll be exploring all of these in a little further detail. To do this, one of the things that we'll have to recall is an eigenvector basis. And let's recall that uh, suppose that our matrix C is square, and also suppose that it's diagonalizable. That means that the eigenvectors are a basis for the coordinate space that has m entries. And that means that we can write any vector c as a linear combination of these uh, basis vectors. We say that the uh, scalar values alpha are components of the vector in this basis. One example is when the basis is composed entirely of orthonormal vectors.